Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Darkwing Duck. This is Good Natured Filth, and with me I have... Dodd the Hammer. In this episode, we're going to head into the, um, the, the hidden floating forest... F fortress. F fortress. I cannot say that word. Fortress. Fortress. Of, of Steelbeak. Ooh, let's get dangerous. Yeah, the first and only time that Darkwing responds. But the floating fortress is just a giant cruise ship or something in the bay that nobody's noticed. <laughs> oh, that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you think maybe the uh, port authority would say something, but no. Sir, you can't park this here. I'm Steelbeak. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Somebody had mentioned in the thread that uh, the turtles reminded them of Sniper Joe, Sniper but I'm pretty Joe. sure that the the shield ducks remind me more of it's Sniper Joe. It's definitely the shield ducks. I think they were just confused. Whoever it was that said that, you are confused. <laughs> Get your head on straight. These uh, rhinoceros guys shooting cannons? Those are not rhinoceroses. I'm not sure how often, like, they don't have a tell as to when they're about to pull, and there's not much time between them pulling and the cannon hitting you in the face. <laughs> in the face. Yeah. Okay, now what is this little man? They're riding, like, broomstick horses. Oh! <laughs> uh, there's only two... I see. Yeah. There's only two of them in the entire level. I'm not sure why Capcom decided to uh, bring in new enemies in the last level and only use them for... For, for just two two enemies in the entire level, why not have them throughout or something? That's a good point. I noticed that those boxes said danger. Is that important? Or does Steelbake just like dangerous boxes? <laughs> well, he, he, he has to have something of danger, otherwise he's not al allowed to park his giant cruise ship in the bay. Okay, true. And that's why he puts spikes all over his ship. Yeah. Apparently his ship's under construction as well. So now we have Duke Nukem, the duck? Yeah. Duck Nukem? Oh, the, or the Terminator. I guess yeah. it's supposed to be the Terminator. Yeah, but they turn into cyborgs uh, when you shoot them. Well, I guess they are cyborgs. You can just see their robotic body after you start them on fire with your gas. That's what happens, right? Yeah. They're, they're ridiculous, because it takes five shots to get their uh, robot body out, and then it takes five shots to get their pogo stick body out. I was gonna say, I see they go all Mauser on you. Like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> like the Mausers, I mean, not an actual teenage. Look at that, and then they'll start jumping. Yeah. And then he'll bite you, and then... Uh, and then those things with the electric whips come out of the floor with the foot soldiers, and... Uh, we are not playing that game right now. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, like most of the other enemies, they're pretty stupid and just walk off into uh, a, the abyss. Alright, so now how far into the Technodrome do you have to go? <laughs> <laughs> why, why does he have a bottomless pit in his cruise ship? Somebody forgot to build the rest, and it turned into a bottomless pit. How, how's, it, how's it floating? It's... you know... It doesn't matter. It just happens. He's stupid. <laughs> he does what he wants. He has black holes in the bottom of his cruise ship. This is just like one final fuck you because you can't get to the <laughs> boss without going through this dick. Oh man. You got lucky. Yeah. I and then didn't. you just stand there on that box in your glory. <laughs> well, I gotta go to Steelbeak. Um, he has two phases, actually. <laughs> this is the first phase. And I'm actually gonna sh keep in a death scene here, uh, to show you what it looks like when Darkwing dies. <laughs> Are those flying panda heads? <laughs> <laughs> it seems so, yeah. The strategy for the first phase, though... The strategy is just to get into that upper left corner and you just keep wailing at his glass wall. It's a good thing he has that sweet lazy boy that he flies around on. Okay, yeah. now what did he pick up? Um, is that a mirror? I think it's a, a safe door or something. Okay. I th no, I think there's a little piece of glass and you can see his face through the through the window. So that's how he sees. 
No, I think that's the turn knob on the door of the safe. Yeah, I think it was too, because it followed the door when he threw it. But he has a lot of just safe doors laying around on his carpet. <laughs> it's a Well, it's just a thick vault. He's got a lot of safe doors <laughs> on the same thing. Oh. Yeah. Wow, really? This, yeah, he's a pretty easy boss. Bummer. <laughs> for, for being the final boss, but hey, alternate strategy. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Pandas. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. So the first part, the strategy is going to be the same, uh, but you'll see wow. that I have heavy gas this time. That's just so easy to beat those pandas. Now you it's kind of difficult. If you if you can't get up there right away, you just have to let, you know, they follow you around the room. You'll see, though, that his safe door protects him from shots. Okay. Well, it's a magic safe door. It just, you know, that's what happens. So you actually have to, uh... You have to step on the ground so he thinks you're going to stay there instead of hanging on the chandelier like you've been doing the entire time. Could you shoot from the chandelier then? Okay, I mean, when he's running. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, when he's running, you can. So they actually, you know, make you have some tactics. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Beat you again! Yeah. It's so easy. But if Mega Man was here, he wouldn't be having gas strategies. No, he would be complaining that Steel Beak is way too easy to beat, and he should be Dr. Wily. Yeah. I wanted to show off what Mega Man looks like in the game, and what a 1-Up looks like. It's just a uh, Mega Man sprite stuck oh, over again. Oh, they didn't make it again. his head? Dang. Nope. <laughs> I'm also going to leave an, uh, a death scene here, show you what it looks like when Mega Man dies. Pretty awesome, he right? stands up for his death. <laughs> he doesn't take it like the pansy Darkwing Duck. Yeah, the ROM hack uh, guy didn't really do much, um, put much effort into it. Other than jumping around in the movement sprites. Yeah. And actually, uh, the, the shield, when he puts up his shield, Mega Man will get into, like, a little running pose and just stand there. And that's his shield. I was gonna say, I, I thought I saw you block some shots earlier, but I couldn't tell that he was yeah. holding up a cape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but here's another bonus, alternate strategy for Liquidator. Mm. It'll be using the Thunder Gas again. Um, I tried Heavy Gas on this, but it goes underneath Liquidator. I was gonna say, it looks like it would. Now, you'd think this would just be, yeah. like, a one-hit kill. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd think. It's like electricity, but no. boom, you're dead. <laughs> Eat it, Hydro Man. I think I just made a Spider-Man reference. Yes, <laughs> yes you did. <laughs> oh, that's cool, that it bounced back at the exact same angle. I like that. Yeah, he uh, he stops stops all pellets when he's not standing up, I guess. I mean, you know, that's what water does. If you shoot at it when it's in a blob, it... <laughs> it just How often do you shoot at water? Just so often. <laughs> On such a regular basis. I shoot at water dogs with electricity guns. <laughs> Or, sorry, electrical gas guns. Yes, thank you. I appreciate your uh, attention to detail. Yes, because it's not actually electricity, it's just, I, get, I would imagine, electrically charged gas. <laughs> oh, he is smug. But when we, after we defeat Steelbeak, he, um, he shows up on our computer screen and says, I'll be back. So I guess we didn't arrest him. We just let him go. He, you just let him fall through the floor. Yeah. The entire city's gonna be grateful. They're gonna be great, grateful forever. Job well done. Wait, no. That's just the no. sun. Yeah, and uh, Darkwing changed his hat color and his beak color. I noticed that. And he's driving away on his rat catcher. Yeah, rat catcher. Stupid Not the duck name. cycle. Stupid name. <laughs> I like it backwards as Rectectar. <laughs> oh, Darkwing. <laughs> you yes, and your antics. in Darkwing fashion. 
Yeah. And then he apparently smacked into the sun. <laughs> well, he's actually, he's in front of a, a painting. It's a mural in the background on a wall of a building. Oh, the twist ending. Yes. This was all a painting. This was Kirby's Canvas Curse, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, it man. may have been. <laughs> oh, Capcom. You know how to tell a story. Yeah, but this is the end of the game. Uh, they don't have credits or anything. Uh, they just show the screen for a while. They play through the theme song one more time. Darkwing Duck! And uh, after the theme song's over, it just sits here. Like, it doesn't restart or anything. The game just ends. Well, that's because this is... They want this to burn into your screen on your TV. Yeah. It's like they, they didn't want you to replay the game. They just wanted you to stop. <laughs> it's really the end. <laughs> uh, but with that, we have completed Darkwing Duck for the Nintendo. Job well done. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we'll be coming back with a couple bonus videos showing off the awful, awful, awful... Turbo Graphics 16 version Disgusting. of the game. For for whoever whoever wanted that, whoever voted yes for that, you suck and you can burn in hell. <laughs> um, I will not agree with that, but okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, join us next time when we bring you some crappy games. Hoorah! Oh wow, no, don't put that in there. No, God no! I don't know why I said that. You cut it out before that.